Well, if 2019 is the year you're planning to say I do, and spoiler alert, I may be heavily invested in this segment. <laughs> My fiance and I are in planning mode for our own big day. This morning, we are kicking off our very first wedding week here on Your Morning. From fashion to finance, technology to etiquette, we are bringing it all to you, starting with that, the most unromantic part of the entire thing. That's right, the F word, finance. So financial expert Melissa Leong is the author of Happy Go Money, and she joins us now in studio. Thank you for being here. Hello, thank and you. Congratulations, Oh, thank you very much. You are coming at the perfect time for me because uh, we've just made our guest list. We're starting to make um, our budget now. So what is the average cost of a wedding in Canada? Oh, it's over $30,000. Okay. So it's the average. You don't have to spend that amount, you might spend less, you might spend more, depending on what your priorities are. Right, okay, good to know. This is, it's, good to, it's good to have a reality <laughs> check about these things. Uh, you're gonna tell us a little bit about how you saved on your own wedding, mm. um, but step one is making a plan. Yes, but not the plan that you think of. So when people think, you know, I know, I get it, you're excited, mm -hmm. you want to have this plan on Pinterest. <laughs> yes. This thing that you've been dreaming about since you were young. However, when I say make a plan, I really mean make a plan for your life. Okay. And so, yes, you're getting a wedding, but you're getting a marriage. Mm -hmm. and so sit down with your partner, have a discussion about the goals that you have in the next one, two, five, ten years, and then use that as a backdrop for, okay, I love this venue, but you know what? We're going to buy a house in the next five years. That's one of our goals, so maybe we need to shop around for something else. Okay, right? so the plan doesn't end at the wedding. It has to go beyond that. Please. Yes, yeah. that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> uh, the next step is working with the number. So what exactly does that mean? Okay, so this list can add up, right? Mm -hmm. And people often think, okay, well, the food, I got the food cover, I got the venue cover, that's the most expensive part. Mm -hmm. But a lot of couples actually spend up to half of that or up to equal that amount on secondary vendors. So your hair, your makeup, your photographer, your videographer, your chair covers, whatever it is. And so you do need to work with real numbers. So get a sense of an itemized list of how much these things are going to cost you. Okay. And you can look at it and say, ooh, that's not the number that I have, but physically have in my mind, and mm -hmm. so uh, you have a, a, a you have a number to base what you have to save for, <laughs> right? Or um, maybe adjust your expectations. And then once you have that list, you have to prioritize. Yes. Okay. And so in my book, I talk about uh, money being just a tool mm -hmm. for your goals, and so. It's just a tool for you to be happy. So allocate your resources to the thing that you think will make you most happy. I know everyone's like, I want it all. Yes. But, you know, <laughs> you, yes, maybe, but maybe not all at the same time. So pick the things that are most important to you on that list. Okay, I think that's great advice. <laughs> you also have some tips for how to save money uh, when it comes to timing, venues. Yes, and so I got married in October. Okay. And on a Friday. So that's Huh. double savings because if you get married in the off season, if you get married on a less busy day, you do save automatically up to 15%. And so for example, a wedding in Toronto might cost $23,000 mm -hmm. uh, for 110 people. You get married on a Friday, it's uh, $19,000. So you save wow. four grand right away. You can use that towards your life priorities or yes. maybe your honeymoon or something else that's important to you. Or a nicer dress. <laughs> Okay, we need to talk about that. Okay, let's yeah. talk about the dress. Yes, I know there's a lot of excitement about the dress. Yes. And of course, of course, you want to look amazing. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, in the context of your life, you're going to wear the dress for a short period of time. So I actually bought my dress on Kijiji. I put an alert on mm -hmm. Kijiji for a dress that was in my size. Okay. And it, it was one that I had tried on at a bridal store for, you know, twice as much money. I got it for a fraction of the cost. And then afterwards, I sold it on the secondhand market. Wow. So say yes to the dress temporarily. Okay, I maybe. like that. Say yes to yes. the dress temporarily. People okay. Are also renting the dresses nowadays, too. Yeah, there are so many great options. Thank you for this. This You're is a well. good reality check delivered <laughs> in a very nice way. I'm glad. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And thank you for being here.